Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 6 or 6 of the Grimsby Town FIFA 21 Road to Glory series. And as you know, on the last episode, if you have seen it, mixed bag, if there ever was one. Haven't said that in a while, that phrase, as it might come back to us now we're in the championship. Of course, we have the top scorer, which is not mixed. He is right at the top of that chart, Raul Garcia with 13, as we sit exactly where we started the last episode, 12. But you still should watch it if you haven't. A lot of entertainment. A definitely in that last game, which you can see on screen now, if you don't want to watch it, wherever you float your boat, as we have, I think, six games today before going into the window in the next episode. So strap in for this one. We've got Coventry twice, which we are going to sim the... I think we'll sim the home one. That'll be harder. We are going to sim Luton. I don't want to play Luton again. Played them too many times this series, with Bournemouth definitely being played. And I'm going to opt for Peterborough. They're in relegation zone. We struggle against relegation zone teams. And Swansea, I think, are there or thereabouts also. But we'll risk as luck. Yes, a lot to get through today, including the conference. So the first question, Sports Hive. The first one this time. As you should look at the likes of Oli Burke from Sheffield United. Scores goals in the championship. Yes, I think it was at West Brom, wasn't it, in the championship? Or maybe it was another team. Definitely one I can put on the radar. He seems like a bit of a Grimsby player as well. A big brute who can go on that wing. And of course, if he gets to the Prem, knows how to reach the back of the net against Manchester United. As the next question, John Weltdale saying, now you're in the championship, look at loaning some Premier League players. The wages might be higher, but you can get promoted. And uh, yeah, it should help me getting promoted. I think that's a great idea. Of course, I have Edmondson, which is... A Premier League player in Leeds, but of course not the quality that probably people are thinking of. So a great suggestion to move forward with. And of course January is coming up. If we get one for a year, we could have him in the Prem. If, being very optimistic, we can sneak into the Premier League. So the last question is from uh, Phil Opatia. Hopefully I've not got that name wrong. What about if you re reunite with your homegrown talent? I think that is alluding to... I think it's... Rakeem Harper? Not Rakeem Harper. That's one we have here. Just Harper... The uh, striker we sold in the first episode, and you never know. I think he's very expensive at the moment on my shortlist. Definitely going to have to wait till the Prem to look at him. So hopefully we can get to the Prem, well not early, but in due time to try and get him back before he grows too much. As Luton are the team up first. Simulated game. And I don't mean to sound too full of myself, but this is a game that we should definitely be winning. I said the same about Huddersfield though in the relegation zone. We lost to them pretty emphatically as well with... Um, Someone doing my head in, I'm not going to name names, um, Amatore, as the team is as follows. Schubert in the goal, Christy Pollock, uh, Gergerson and Doig, <laughs> struggled to say his name then, with Martin, Martins, Harper and Solescu in the midfield, Connolly and Garcia. No, it isn't actually, I'm going to put Edmonton up front, because of course we're going to rotate bottom of the league. Yes, away from home at Kenilworth Road, but bottom of the league and we've got to take that into account when we try and get the result against them so it's going to be a simulated game against the Hatters got four at the back a very wide formation can we take advantage and we can it's a goal from Martin late on to win it as Kololi scores for them and it's Edmondson with the first goal good job I put him in nice one from the Leeds loan he's starting to pick up a little bit I mean he came in to just be initially a backup for Garcia but you never know he's scoring quite a few goals could Possibly get off the bench more, or even force his way into the starting lineup. I mean, it would take a drastic fall for Garcia. Or we go up two up front. However, I don't think I'm going to risk that for this next game, as we have to rotate still, though. Of course, it is very, very close after that last game, and a lot of players are tired. So, Edmonton, unfortunately, mate, just a little bit of game time. You're coming straight out. I'm going to rest Martins as well. And I'm going to change the full defence up and Connolly. This team is shattered after the last one and playing it. I have a bit more faith we can get a result with Schubert in the goal. Christie, Danny Bath and Nightingale coming in with Doig at left back still. Martin, Pope, Harper and Sorescu through the central midfield and wide positions with uh, Patterson in Cam supporting Raul Garcia. Patterson's a player I want to see improvement from, definitely. So can he provide it here against Coventry? And let's have a look at the Coventry City lineup. It's Mariossi in the net with Dabo, Drysdale, Hyam and Rose in the defence. Mason... Just uh, think in front of him, or no, to the side. It's a five-back with Alan Hammer and O'Hare in the midfield with Castanier and Tyler Walker, I think that is. Very decent young striker. Been at the rivals, Lincoln, though, so got to put him down. And, of course, I don't mean kill him. I'm not heartless like that, as 
Martin has the ball around the corner to Dog. Let's try and shake that off, shall we? As we've got runs in the box. Dan Sorescu for an early goal. Sorescu's made a great run and a great header from the small player. Okay. Ten minutes in from our number ten. We have a goal. Dan Sorescu. It's his first goal in a while. And I didn't expect it to be a headed one. The little man at the back post. Just a... Flick it in off his head. Great ball from Doig as well. Back from his suspension after the red card. The game before Huddersfield last time out. As what a header past the keeper. No chance as we take an early lead. I can't believe it. That's only his second goal in a Grimsby kit. That is a bewildering stat as Bath has the ball. Gives a good one into Patterson as well. On to Pope. Now Pope has to try and find a way through the defence here. He's going to try and pass it back. A bit too far though as he gives it a... Uh, Straight to Hamer, Tyler Walker on the ball again, a little clip into Allen. I thought it was Joe Allen as well, it actually isn't. I think it might be Alfie Allen, as Pope has the ball again though. Make a run, Gal Garcia, as he does have the ball now. Going to give it back to Pope, who's got a good touch on it, but defender deals with it. Interesting little game, this one against Coventry. A lot of midfield battles away at, I think we're at St Andrews. Of course, they are ground sharing in real life for a little while as Doig. Has a ball. Cuts inside here. He's going to give it. Oh, and Garcia has let him nutmeg him. Didn't mean for that to happen as Mason has a ball in the middle. It's Tyler Walker. We can't let the old Lincoln players score against us as it is level at St. Andrews. It's a great little chip from the man who we just didn't want to score, but it was written in the stars. Little mountain to climb now. Not a big one. Of course, I've still got faith we can get back into this game, but it's a great little chip over the keeper just to send us completely for... Breakfast, lunch and dinner. No chance. Schubert left in no man's land. But we're still not behind. And now we have to try and get back into this game. Which is a real pain in the bottom. As Doig did get the good delivery in for the goal. Gives it into Pope. Can it be Pope's time to shine? Hasn't really got involved going forward. Even though I have played him in that central midfield role a bit further forward. He's playing in CDM this time. Should be better. And it looks as if the shares are going to be spoiled at half time. That's a good chip over Danny Bath though. Nightingale on the cover up. Back into Bath. He's going to try and get forward here. Walker with a good tackle. It's fallen to Castanier, who we've missed again. Through the middle, Danny Bath trying skills in the box, which he can't do as I think it's a little handball. Right, we've got away with one just before half time there. Coventry, I'd say slightly on top, not by much in this first half here at St Andrews. So we're going to try and nick one before half time if we've got the chance, but we don't. So. The spoils are shared at half time. It's Coventry 1, Grimsby Town 1. And I have full faith we can get back into the game. It's one we're not far out of. However, I said that same thing against Huddersfield. So we do have to try and get back into this early goal, maybe, with Srescu putting a brilliant ball across to Martin to switch the play. It's into Raul Garcia. It was a great turn as well. Patterson just not making that run. We need him to. Srescu should be on side here. And he's just off. So it's not going to be an early goal. And it's O'Hare now in the middle. Trying to run like a rabbit. Get it? Rabbit, her. As he's given it in the middle. Need to stop cracking puns and defend as Danny Bath with a great tackle. Which has given us a foul. No way that is a foul. It was a great tackle. So now it's a free kick for Hammer. Or Hammer, however you want to say it. On the edge of the box to give Coventry a chance of a lead. It's deja vu to Tom Lawrence a couple of days ago as I can't believe it was given. Point to the back of his shirt. Well, he deserves it. Well, he deserves the goal. I'll give him that. It's a great strike, but he did not deserve the free kick. Danny Bath with a great tackle given. I should have probably not run with Martin the wall. He might have got his head on that, but I've gambled and it's not paid off. Coventry take a lead at home. Got to be better than this, boys, if we're going to put a push on. In the latter stages of this season. And of course get better players in. We've got to attract the talent. They don't just come to us on a silver platter. So Sorescu get running. You're a talent that should be better. Yes you have scored. But still expect a lot more. And the ball's with Brandon Pope in the middle. He gives it into Patterson. I expect a lot more from him. As it's good control from Garcia. Gets a second chance at it. And stings Morosi's gloves with the venom. Straight away at the hour mark, this game's definitely livening up. Crossing to the box as well, Garcia with the header as it's given as a penalty. We get all them handballs. I think Garcia might have headed at his hand actually. He always forces these, doesn't he? Our tall striker just always gets it straight off the elbow. Definitely a foul. I'm not going to try the quick one today, or am I? I'm going to try the non look. I'm still looking at the camera. Oh, and it's been saved. Bit too cocky, and that was a shame. I mean, I couldn't have changed anything, even if I was looking. Keeper has dived the right way and kept Coventry City in the lead. As it is the um, 
Stadium's derby next game. Coventry against Birmingham as they're coming forward straight at us. Coventry, got to look out on the counter-attack. Again, a team playing a similar style to us always stands a chance, but we've got a chance here. Garcia heads it into his path. Can he make up for the penalty? Oh, he just misses. And Abdon on the ball. He's put it around the corner for Tyler Walker. Again, can't let him have a brace. Just can't let him. As Bath has done everything this game. Yes, he gave the free kick away, which... I thought it wasn't a free kick, but apart from that, he's done every single thing right. As can Edmondson do right, straight off the bench for Garcia. And he's actually playing really well, he's Ryan Edmondson, but not with that shot. And Pope with the ball now. Can he try and find one? That's a great little slip into Connolly. This has to be it now. Can it be level? He's missed it as well. What's happening to us youth players, boys? We've got to start finishing some of these chances. We're going to lose the game if not. It may even be the last chance of the game. We've been quite poor. I've got to say, being actually very poor to say, yes, we're away from home, but Coventry are a team we do want to be beating. Pope just can't weave his way through. I think that's going to be it. However, four minutes added on might give us a bit of a lifeline. It's a great ball from Connolly, right? Edmondson with a good touch. Ryan Edmondson to level it up. Bandy has done so. It's a goal we needed. Coventry City on the deck as they can't believe it. Ryan Edmondson is on flames. Should have got a loan to buy for this guy. What is going on with him? The Leeds, I think, born and bred striker with a great finish. That straight past the keeper who just stood still as it sails. Side netting and in for a point. And I'm happy with the comeback. Should it have been a win? Definitely. Definitely. Never a free kick. We let Tyler Walker through with ease to chip the keeper. But at the end of the day, after where we was, level pegging for a long time, I'll take it. Well, not even level pegging, just where we was behind. So, got to try and get in front with some more results. Five games to go in this episode still, so it's a jam-packed one. Peterborough is the next team up, 23rd in the league. So, another team that's down there, which we are probably going to struggle against. So, I am going to play the game. A lot of players are actually unhappy in the lineup, which I don't really get. The defenders, especially Nightingale. And um, Danny Bath, who's been on form. So I'm going to take them out of the team. Same with Doig. I don't like you upset. With Schubert in the goal, Christy Pollock, Gregerson, and of course, Doig's going to keep on playing. Don't worry why he's unhappy. Martin, Martins, Harper, and Sorescu at right midfield with Connolly now supporting Garcia instead of Patterson, who he can't get the best out of. He should have been a player that we got last season for the League One. But, of course, he didn't want to join us at that point. It's a bit of a crap cycle. And it's going to be Peterborough's team with Blackmore in the net. Ward de la Hoss. What a name. Kent and Junjian in the back. Couple of good names. Blake Tracy. No, it's not another five back. With Jones, Hamilton, Broom, Eisen, Clark, Harris. I can't stand five at the back formation. And I get it. Teams play five defenders because, of course, they want to stay in the league. Of course, when they're down there, like Coventry, they're fighting. But isn't it proving something? All the teams that are playing five defenders are near the bottom of the league because they're not going forward attacking-wise and all the players at the back. So I think I see a pattern evolving. And of course, I am a bit butthurt because of course it stops me from scoring. Too many defenders in my way as look. There's everyone marked in the middle because there's three defenders in the middle, but we still could get to it, Connolly. Trying to run on it. Win that header, please, Pollock, as he does put it forward to no one. And Clark Harris onto Broom. We've come out a little bit far there as Clark Harris has it again. Pollock gets it after Christie's little uh, block did not work as he gives it on to Rekim Harper as well. But Broom really fighting for this game is, I uh, don't know his first name, but Broom. As Mo Iser turns really well, he's got it into Clark Harris. Great tackle! What are with these fouls? Five at the back and referees are broken. In this career mode. Pollock. He is not getting sent off. Our captain departs the field. For one of the best tackles. I've seen in a while. Let's have a look. Oh. that's just, Fair enough. Fair enough. I hold my hands up. When I look at it again. It's a foul. But not a red card. Surely that isn't a red card. 17 minutes in. It's a penalty. To Peter Brown. And a red card for us. A Schubert. Stops the goal. Lively start here against Posh at Blundell Park. But still, a man down, especially in the defensive area, is just hard. We're, especially when we're playing against five defenders ourselves. So we've really got to go out there and try and express ourselves. It's good ball to rescue. We could do it straight away. Into Garcia. We don't need we don't need 11 men. We just, we just need 10. Hey, the worm from Raul. I think that's his... Is it he's... I don't know if he scored... No, he did score in the last game, didn't he? That's his... 
Go was Sorescu. That's his 14. Oh, I kept there in the end. As it was Sorescu putting a great ball in as well. Got ahead of the defender and ahead into the back of the goal. And you don't even need wing backs to wing bash, which we have proved. A lot of crosses going into the box for us. As I didn't think that would go in from Ethan Hamilton. Great hit. And the uh, 11 men are probably needed now because we've got to hold on to something. Great hit from that. I just started speaking thinking we're going to clear this ball and go on a counter, but I think it's Christie not marking his man straight through. And they've put it in the back of the goal. So now it's Peterborough 1, Grimsby 1. Great hold-up play as well from the uh, players to keep it off as That's a great switch. Soskew is getting better with his passing because usually he's just all dribble and all uh, pace. He's a bit like a... A Shakiri is a rescue, a championship Shakiri just needs more goals. It's Connolly coming into his position as well. Where's he gone? Where's Sorescu gone? Right, there he is. I think he's a bit more defensive as well. Let's get that ball through to Rekim Harper. He's supposed to be a bit more defensive. He just puts the ball in and De La Hoss has to deal with it. Corner just before half time for town here as the Mariners push on and Garcia gets it in. It's another header for our tall man. He scored more headers and he's had touches in this game. Great corner from Josh Martin as well. Right at that front post for him just to get ahead of two defenders. Put it on the ground as well. The man at the front post, you've got to look at your position. You've got to clear that as well. Hands all over him. Doesn't matter because he heads it towards the ground and up and in. And there we have it. Half time. It's getting rather difficult to pick our team at the moment. Because of course we know what Edmondson just did off the bench. And of course it is... More obvious to go with Garcia, he's scored a lot of goals, but we've got to go with the main form. And by now it does look Gar like Garcia again, but with, with both of them just going out, it's a lovely competition. Just wish I could say the same for the defenders who <laughs> I just can't pick because they're all quite bad at the moment. As proven right here, they've got straight past Christie in the box as he has to slide. It's a good job he didn't put his hands out and then I would have been furious if he did. Barreiro Martins to mark the front post as well as Ethan Hamilton takes it into De La Hose. Barreiro away into space. And Borough or Posh or Peterborough, whatever you want to call him, push it. Don't. He backed into Sorescu. Is this another penalty? Really? Are you having a laugh? I mean, it's no cag because it isn't a penalty. He backs into Sorescu. I didn't click a button. As it's another penalty for Peterborough. Divers, the lot of them. Absolute divers. Clark Harris against... Oh, shoot. But again, I shouldn't have moved. The move let them score. They haven't deserved another goal. Hamilton had a good strike, but... We've done well in this second half. And then, of course, they just go and score that. I, I, I envy the referees. Because they're getting conned by divers. Struggling again against the team that's struggling in the league again. I don't know why we just do it... Against the poorer teams, it's Bournemouth up next, and I hope we can improve. We did beat them. Oh, I think draw against them last time. Got a good result, a positive one anyway. A lot better than this show, as Martin does have a ball again. Through the little gap to Barreiro. Now we're going to pass it. Garcia, I like that run. Round the corner to Conley. Sends Garcia a bit out wide. It's going to cut back inside. Give it inside. Connolly strikes it across the ground. He had bodies in the way, I'll be fair to him. Raul Garcia on the ball again, tries to get it past Joe Ward who just steps inside. It's Ricky J. Jones I think as well now up up front. The player who's been highly recommended was going to try and poach him before uh, Peterborough actually stayed in this division. They were in the relegation zone a lot last year. I thought we were going to swap places with him, but no, they've stayed in the league, so he's more expensive. As can we make our players a bit more wealthy by scoring a late goal and giving them bonuses? Barreiro on target, but save. Let's get into this, shall we? Let's get up for it as Christie heads it into the hand of, I think, one of the midfielders, Hamilton, who scored for them. As Garcia now knocks it in. Got to get that over the top to Martin, who's in space. Likes a clear near post shot. Does Martin going to try it again? But the keeper's ready. And took him out of the ball. Referee, come on. Keep your eye on it. The 10 men of Grimsby dominating here. Another corner goal as Harper does get his head on it and it's not going anywhere. Come on, let's get this win. We need three points instead of one today. However, it's a chance for Peter Berlay on. Can't just bottle the game now as we do against all these lower league teams as that was the closest we've come to a penalty. As the referee's blown the whistle. Oh, I thought they were going to give handball for something then with it all over the place. But it is an offside as Gregerson... Got to get forward with the ball. That was a dodgy pass, but still got it. Edmondson on the field now. It's Patterson going to try and chip it out wide to Martin. Inside, and it's just gone past Pope. We are not going to get as luck. Can we create something else? Late on right here as Kent has the ball going forward. Into Canu. Keep them out, and there's the whistle. It's a 2-2 draw with Peterborough. They're celebrating. They are celebrating Peterborough. So, um, you never know. I think the fans as well, from our point of view, are booing, but... 
Hopefully that's for the red card. I hope they're not booing us. It was a difficult game, that one. Was a was a sticky one. A very sticky one. As we've got to move on to a even harder one now on paper. Bournemouth. Up there flying in the league. A challenge. And the phrase, the cherry on top, can come actually into a play here because they literally do sit top of the championship we're against top of the league got points off them last time they was here so of course i have faith we can do it again we can recreate it as i am not going to make any changes apart from the one i'm forced into with schubert in the goal christy bath with the captain's armband as well wants an experienced leader out there so he's going to be it with gregerson and doig alongside him martin brero martins harper and Sorescu in the middle with Connolly supporting Garcia. It's the same team going straight into a game now. Very tough schedule. Of course, in the championship as well, it's going to be even harder. And Bournemouth at the Vitality. Very interesting game with Matt Travers in net. Smith, Ibram Rossi, Colley and Kelly. It looks like they've lost a couple of players here. Um, five at the back though. Denzuma, Billing Gustafsson, Brooks Solanke and Denzuma Groneveld. But why? Why? Is it five at the back? You're top of the league. Oh, top of the league, you, you're not even up there as Billings going to take kickoff to Gustafsson. And we've got a fight on our hands. It's Philip Billings. The fans are doing my head in here, screaming, Bournemouth till I die. I mean, probably the support they need to win this league. And I get it, as David Brooks is around us easily. Solanke in the middle. It's a 1-2, Dominic Solanke. Good save. Early pressure, Bournemouth. And, of course, match point, Bournemouth. They are... Probably ahead and going to probably stay ahead for a while. Although we did get, uh, well against them last time. Kelly in the middle to Brooks who's held us off well. Great tackle. Don't want to concede another bloody penalty in a row as we've given the ball here to Raul Garcia. It's a good run on here from Barreiro and Martin as well. Great pass. We've got a man in the middle in Connolly. Martin to whip it into Connolly. Oh and it's just looped over. Big chance for the youth. And Josh Doig. Down the line to Martin, who keeps it in play very, very sneakily. I love that from you, Josh. As we're going to give it in the middle to Connolly again. Through to Raul Garcia, who has a running on. He's got Sorescu with him as well. He's going to try and be unselfish to Sorescu. He's run past it. How can you do that? Oh, what a waste of a 76 rating FIFA's dished out. Paul from Dayan, who of uh, course I expect to be running the show here. So give it into Barreiro now. Across to... Michael Connolly, it's intercepted onto Barrero again. Going to hit it from range and not really get it pay off as Gustafsson to bring it forward. Now gets it through the legs of the referee onto Adam Smith. Bournemouth putting a bit of pressure on. And Gustafsson actually got a way through here. Boys! Boys, we give Bournemouth a real chance and a real let off for ourselves there. As games died down a bit, I've got to say. Danny Bath though, trying to level it up by giving them the ball straight back. Same with... Rakeem Harper, who can't clear it in time. I'm going to say boring nil at half time, which I'd take against top of the league. But now it looks like they're putting the uh, burners on a little bit more. However, every time I go to say that, they just they just give me the ball straight back as Connolly does have a turn on here. I think it's going to be half time though before I can get a shot off. Oh, I'm going to turn and shoot them with Garcia as well. As there we go, it is nil nil with the hosts at half time. Of course, top of the league hosts. So, yes, I'll probably not take a draw. Like we have at the end of the uh, last games, but in this one, I'd definitely take it. And to rescue with his usual flick over the top. I just wish that manager had his tracksuit on as well. I'm talking about myself there as well, as Garcia has the ball in the middle. Over to Connolly. Can he try and maneuver his way past Kelly in the defense? Really good defender him. Plays a 1 2 Connolly for a long shot. Well wide. As the ball is at Connolly's feet again. Says no one's pushing the boat out in this game, but it has been quite end to end. An attack for one team, an attack for other. Can't tell who's going to win it. If anyone to win it is Gustafsson. He's been a little decent playmaker. As Gregerson gets the better of him, though. That's good from our centre-back. Very far forward, though. As we've given the ball straight away back to them. I mean, that's what it's been. A bit of a game of give away the ball. You give it to us. I give it to you. We'll settle for a draw. As Brooks looks like he doesn't, though. As Doig, great tackle from Josh Doig. Oh, the home fans want in a penalty. Get out of town. As I'm not having another one of them referees. The corrupt ones. As uh, Raul Garcia has a really good turn on there. Connolly just can't fit too many. Forced to Dayan Sorescu down the line for Harper. I think he's just offside. Whip the ball straight in. No, he's onside. And Garcia with a great finish. We lead with 20 minutes to go. And it's, of course, Raul Garcia. But I expected that to fully be off. What a ball from Rekim Harper, you know, as the boys are celebrating like mad. Of course, it's a shame we're not at the side of the fans as well to run up to him. What a ball. And what a volley on the first time hit. Straight past Travers, who, if he saved, that would have broken both of his wrists and his arms. 
as Garcia gives us a lead against the leaders. What a moment. What a day and what a moment for Grimsley Town Football Club if we can get this win. Good one too as well from Garcia. Could even be more as Martin's going to try and whip it in at that front post. Thought Kelly, we're just about to miss out on that as Harper has a run on here of Sorescu as well who's going to blaze it over. And Drekim Harper out wide to Sorescu into Ryan Edmondson who's now off the bench. Of course, got to rest Garcia. I know it's top of the league but we have to keep that man fit at all costs. Same with Pope if he could get to that and make a name for himself. And Gustafsson to run through the middle here. Gives it on to Solanke. No, it can't be this late on. What a challenge, Danny Bath. Solid at the back as Pope's going to run forward as well. Dayon Sorescu making a run as well. Can he get it over the top? He can. Kelly not chasing him. Sorescu went to hit it first time for the spectacular. But that should be enough time. Grimsby Town, the Little Mariners should be beating Bournemouth here. Come on, referee. There we have it. Grimsby Town won away from home against top of the league. Three points in the bag against a really good team. As you can see, low on highlights, but of course, the game a full highlight for us. Absolutely perfect result. It keeps us in the 11th. I don't care. I don't I don't care about his position at the moment. We've got to pick up his performance levels a bit. We've still got half a season to go as well. And we've rose him from bottom of the league to halfway up. It could do the same. I don't think we're going to win the league, of course. There's a lot better squads out there than us. But of course, we've got time to prove in the uh, improve, should I say, in the next episode as we've got two more simulated games today. Starting with the rerun against Coventry. So we got the... Uh I'm going to say result. No, we drew against them earlier on. I'm, I'm losing my marbles as we're going to put out the uh, same team that we did last game. No point in going through that. I'll show you the team after because we've, of course, got to rotate. We're getting into the Christmas or the week before the new year after Christmas. The, the, the Boxing Day fixtures, you know what time it is. It's, of course, five at the back. Typical of Coventry City. The Sky Blues, as can we make for a blue sky ourselves? We can't. We get beat by them this time. Bad time against Coventry at home as well. Bapabka and Tyler Walker with the goal. As Garcia missed a penalty. Not like him. Oh, no. So we go from beating top of the league to losing. That's the championship for you. Lost to second bottom after beating top. It's not the way we want to go about as business. As next up is Swansea City. We're having a trip to Wales. As these are in 20th as well. Another struggling team. As Swansea are right behind us now. We've dropped to 13th. We're dropping... No, 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 I don't want to drop. I don't want to drop any further than this as I'm going to rotate the defence. Need to keep them on their toes. And, of course, they're going to play for the positions now. I'm going to make, actually, a couple of changes like so. Nightingale, I just don't have faith in you at the moment. I don't know why. I Schubert is in the, no uh, the goal. Christy, Bath, Pollock and Doig at the back with Martins, who is now actually 75. Or Martin, should I say. And Martins next to him. Pope and Sreski in the middle with Patterson. And, no, I'm going to rest Garcia. He missed a penalty and got a yellow card in the first half. So I'm going to rest him. Edmondson, time to shine, my mate, from Leeds down the road. As come on. Let's get the victory against Swansea. This is definitely not down the road. But it is. It's, it's at home. So it's in the road. It's down the road for them. Five at the back. Of course, five at the back. I can see this being their result now. Pessimistic now. I've seen that. And, of course, one highlight all game and Joel Osorio scores. Back to bad form. We just beat top of the league in the last game I played. And we've lost to two teams below 20th. Five of the bat formations I cannot play against. I only beat the one five of the bat today, and that's against top of the league. Oh, my days. FA Cup up next as well against Peterborough, who, of course, we did we beat him. No, we drew to him 2-2. Two, two. Not been a good month. Yes, two wins, but still. More losses than wins this month, so a bit off. We have Peterborough at home. Then we're into the transfer window, and what the last month has shown me is we need more signings. I, I don't think it's been very good enough. So we don't have much money. But of course I want to make signs. I don't know where I am in the league. And honestly I don't want to check at this moment. I'm going to save it till next time. As we can see our position. Assess it. And make signings where needed. So comment down below. As unfortunately guys this is the end of this episode. Like, comment, share and subscribe. With the notification bell on as well. So you do not miss an episode in the future. As this has been it from me NWS. And I will see you all in a bit. Take care. I'll see you all later. Peace. Peace.